Hello, hello, this is Roberto and this is the HVAC in my channel. Today we're going to be talking about two-story crawl space using the new user interface. All right, so let's get into it. So I'm starting from the beginning, from zero, and this is going to be a series of videos uh, because we need to get familiar to this user interface. And a great advantage about Rightsoft is it, it is that it's very user friendly. Of course, there are, there are other softwares programs, but actually this is a good resource. Okay, so in this case, so when you open up from default it's going to look like this right so depending on the user you can clean this up you can customize it customize it depending on what you want so i'm going to make this a little bit bigger and everything okay number one this is preferential you can use this grid system or you can just get rid of it so the way you can get rid of it is actually oh i ran into a problem in here okay look at this this is very interesting I really need this part, which is called the drawing toolbar in here, right? So the thing is that it's not showing in here and I'm going to need it. So the trick is you need to close this out and you have to open it back again. So that's the trick. It's very interesting, right? So I'm going to close it out and then open it back again. So closing and now I'm going to open it back again. So I'm going to open right soft again. So see, and it's going to show up. So that's actually the trick, right? So there we go. So we have the drawing toolbar right here. And again, if you, if you, for example, by mistake, you get rid of it, close. I don't see there is another way to bring it back rather than, okay, I need to close it out. And then I need to open up back again the software, right? So that's, the, that's a very quick trip. All right, so let's start with this. So in this video, we need to import the PDFs. Number one, I was cleaning this up. So usually I don't use this, this uh, grid. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click in here. There is nothing, there's no more grids. Now the, this scale, I usually don't need it. I'm cleaning up my space. So I click here in the toggle ruler, no more rulers, right? Okay, I usually don't use this so much, which is the construction uh, number bar default construction number bar i'm going to uncheck it so there we go okay we have plenty of space new catalog i don't need the catalog for now toggle c3 okay right here okay so i have plenty of space okay all right number one i'm going to create my levels so in this case i'm gonna have three levels number one is the crawl space which is sheet number one i'm going to rename it edit sheet and under edit sheet i'm going to put crawl space crawl space and then here i'm going to put negative maybe say five foot there we go five foot okay there we go now i'm going to create the next sheets add sheet and in here first floor first first floor first floor elevation zero okay Next one, edit, add sheet, second floor. Second floor, I'm going to put in here nine. So you can put either 10 feet, eight feet, or nine feet. I usually put nine feet. There we go. Okay, so now we have our three levels. Number one, so in this video, is importing the PDF. Okay, so let's go to the crawl space and I'm going to import my PDF. So that's why the drawing toolbar is very important right here, as you can see. Okay, so now we're going to click on there, select PDF file. So usually the way I do this, so see, I click in there, I make my region and then I already have in here something like a, a folder, right? It's important to have in your project folder, a special folder for the floor plans. So usually the architects are gonna give you like, a, okay, here's the PDF and then it's like about 40 pages, 50 pages, 20 pages. Don't try to upload those 20 pages or 30 pages in here because it's gonna make this the software slower so even if you have that you only need three of them see crawl space first floor second floor that's pretty much basic okay so i'm gonna select crawl space open there we go and then once i open i'm gonna go extend it a little bit more there we go i'm gonna extend it a little bit more <clears throat> so we have the crawl space right there 
Okay, there we go. Crawl space. Okay, here we go. So now we have the crawl space. We're gonna go to the first floor. On the first floor, I'm gonna do the same. PDF, make a big region. It, you select first floor, open. There we go. So we have the first floor. Let's go to the second floor. I'm gonna go click on the PDF, region, and then second floor, open. There we go. We have the three floors, the three spaces. Now, what is very important is the next step. We need to scale them. I need a scale for this. Okay, so as you can see, I'm gonna use these rulers, actually the grids. See, in the grids, in the grid system, oh, look at the grid. So the grid only, only comes until this part. So in other videos, I show how to make this bigger. So let's click in here. Okay, outside, right click, scrolling width, scrolling height. So I'm gonna make this, for example, 300. Same thing in here, 300. There we go. Now we have more scrolling width. Okay, there we go. Now what I have is, we need to see what is the value of each grid. So for that, I'm gonna go here, drawing options, grid settings. Under grid settings, I have this at 12 inches. So technically every single grid is 12 by 12 inches, okay? Which we don't, uh, actually for scaling, I would put one, 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 one. But whenever I'm drawing my duck work and everything, I would put six, 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 six. And we're gonna go back to that. So one, 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 one. So that way I have more freedom to make this scale very, I mean, easier. Okay, so let's do that. Let's do the same thing for the first floor. Drawing options, grid settings, one, one, one. There you go. You have everything in there already. Once you do once, it's all over. For, uh, it applies for each level. Okay, so now we're gonna check on one of the dimensions. Let's say, let's, let's choose one of the dimensions in here. That is, um, that I'm gonna change the scale. It's gonna be my dimension as a reference. There we go. I have this dimension in here, two feet, three inches. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click under dimensions. Let's go here. Okay. There we go. Okay. So actually based on my current scale, this is three feet, four inches. No, this has to be two feet, three inches. Okay, control Z and do. The way I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna show the scale by going to the tree. In the PDF, I'm going to click PDF. Now, when you, when you do the dimension, automatically it will tell you what scale do you want. So there we go. Currently it's 3.33, but we want what? What is the decimal of two feet, three inches? So for that, what you have to do is um, we're gonna we're gonna have to go to Google, okay? So in Google, I have one of the charts in here. Um, see, feet inches, feet inches calculator. I still I still don't like this. Okay, uh, what is it? Let's go. We're gonna go feet inches calculator, calculator. There you go. Feet inches calculator. This one. Okay, so I'm going to bookmark this feet, feet inches calculator. Uh, there we go. Go benefits uh, bookmarks bar. Okay, so now we have that feet inches calculator. I'm gonna put it right here. And then under feet inches calculator, this is going to be deleted. Uh, delete, there we go. All right, so in this feet inches calculator, what I'm gonna do is the following. Okay, let's see in here, let's see in here. And this is available. So the good thing is online, there's a lot of things that are free. Okay, so, and I'm gonna put this in the description below. So what is two feet, three inches? So I'm gonna put in here two feet, three, in, three inches. And you're gonna put equal, so two feet, three three inches is in fraction, no, in, in decimals is 2.25. There you go, 2.25. So in here, what is my desired dimension? 2.25, okay, sorry about that. What I'm gonna do is, control Alt, control Win. There you go. Uh, this is gonna be how much? 2.25, 2.25. 
Okay, let's say okay. There we go. This is completely in a scale now. See? And the way you can see that this is in a scale, this is already with a scale. The way you can verify that is if you go to the crawl space, you do the, the, the dimension, you click in here. So it's two feet two inches, not liking that. Oh, two feet three inches. There you go. See? Yeah, two feet three inches. Okay, so now we're going to do the same thing for the, the same process for the first floor. Let's go to the first floor. The first floor. The first floor. Okay, in the first floor, the same thing. Um, let's use this 87 for example. So this says 87. Okay. So what is 87? I'm going to put in my calculator in here. 8 feet 7 inches. Click OK. It's 8 feet. 0.58 so go to pdf select pdf and then clicking here you do this there we go so this would be how much 8.58 in decimal hit okay there we go we got it right okay so now let's just verify for the sake of checking so let's go check on the building go here the dimension now let's check eight feet seven inches okay so let's go for the second floor on the second floor the same process where is it where are you so on the second floor the same process okay let's choose one of the dimensions it's better if you have it like without oh there you go we have one that is uh, in here 10 feet three inches Okay, so what is that? 10 feet, 3 inches. Okay, in decimals is 10.25. So 10.25, click on the PDF on the 3, and then click on this. And then we're going to make our best assumption right there. There you go. So this should be what? This should be 10.25 in decimal. Okay, there we go. So now we, everything is in scale, all right? So that now we imported the PDF and everything is looking nice. The next step is before drawing the rooms, we need to line them up. We're going to line up all these three rooms. So what I'm gonna do is go to crawl space, make this small. In the crawl space, of course, we're gonna line up everything, everything to the crawl space. So I'm going to lock the lower level. So in here, I'm gonna go to building and PDF. Uh, so lock the PDF, see? The PDF is locked, you cannot move. See, I double click in here and it's locked. Let's go to the first floor. On the first floor, since the other one is locked, and I'm gonna uncheck this, there we go. Then I could move this freely, okay? So one good reference in here is the chimney. See, in here there's a chimney right there. So we can line that up. Let's go there. Let's line up that. Yes, and that's why I make my grid one by one, one inch by one inch. Imagine if it's six inches, it's going to move over every six inches or every 12 inches. So that's why for scaling and putting everything in place, I do one by one. Later, we'll change it. There you go. I'm lining it up. That's my best estimation. Uh, okay. Yeah, one more. Yeah. Okay. Let's line it up like this. See, this is not going to change. This is lined up. Now that it's lined up, and somehow you're going to see that it doesn't make sense, somehow, because, um, see, some places are going to be a little bit off, like this. See, this is a little bit off. But you need to check on the sections, the sections of this view, all right? But now let's go to the next one. I'm going to lock, I'm going to lock the PDF of the first floor, double-clicking here, so now you cannot move. So you have now the crawl, crawl space locked. You have the first floor locked. Now you go to the second floor. Second floor to line it up. Okay, now the second floor is the only one that I can move. 
But there is a good trick in here, see? It doesn't matter the, oh, every other wall because you found out that this chimney has to be lined up. I don't think there's a chimney that is like zigzag, right? So I'm gonna line up that, see? You can also look for shafts to line up. So let's go here. I'm gonna line this up very nicely. There you go. Even there's a rectangle right there, right? Okay, dokie, look at that. Oh, no. There we go. Perfectly lined up. And as you can see, actually, actually what I'm going to do is now I'm going to lock the PDF. So all the PDFs are locked. And you might be wondering, wait a minute, this is not lined up in here. The front wall is not lining up. Something's wrong. So in that case, when you have any doubt, you have to check on the section. The section is going to put your eye on the side and then you're going to see it from the side. Let's see this from the side, how it looks. Okay, so I'm going to pull that to the side right here. So this is how it looks from the side. So I'm going to make it smaller. And as you can see in the section, section view, view, so this is not lining up. So the first floor is not lining up with the first floor. I mean, the first floor is not lining up with the second floor. As you can see in here, I'm going to put this in red marks, red marker right here. So this part, see, that area, see, this is less on the other side too. See, this is a different kind of design. See, I mean, there's a dormer maybe in right here, but technically they are not lining up. All right. Okay. So in the next video, since everything is ready, see, we did the first part. And then before, before I forget, because this is very important, I need to put back my grid settings. Grid settings, I'm going to put it at six. Six, six in the grid, and then a snap on the six. There we go. So that way we're all good and ready for the next video. In the next video, we're going to be checking, we're going to be making our rooms, our rooms, and then we're going to check the, our insulation values and everything like that. Okay. So leave any comment and hit the like button, subscribe and share. All right. I'll see you in the next video.